Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email and all the readings that I offer can be found in the description box below. Yeah. So we're doing it the same for this month, um, but actually also still a little bit different. <laughs> we're going with the Golden Universal Tarot for the freestyle reading. Now, if you are new to my channel and you're interested in getting a reading with me you are about to get a taste of the energetic flow the energetic flow of the freestyle reading a general freestyle reading yes um, you won't be able to see the actual spread of the cards because when I'm doing these general readings for the monthlies I do like to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you guys but if you get a personal reading you will be able to see the cards the camera is focused on the cards not on my beautiful face the ales um, but so if you are interested in getting a reading you're about to get a taste of what the freestyle reading is uh, uh, it works well for just about anything. And then at the end of the reading, I am going to get some Oracle guidance as usual. But this month I have decided to get a brand new deck, which I am so very much in love with. We're going with the Oracle of the Sacred Rebels by Alana Fairchild. I love this deck so much. Um, it really resonates with me personally. And I really, the messages that have been coming through so far for the Zodiac signs this month from this deck have been like so spot on with what's going on in the reading. It's almost scary. But at this point, I'm, I'm not, I, I mean, I get it at this point. I've been doing it for long enough. Let's see, what else? Um, also keep in mind that these readings are timeless, yes? So even though it's a message that's coming through for the month of June, the date is really just an organizational thing, okay? Um, it doesn't matter when you come across this reading. It could be in July, it could be six months after June, it could be December, January of 2020, it doesn't matter. If it resonates with you at that moment, then this is the right message for you. This is what you need to be paying attention to. Um, but it is a general reading, okay? It's, it's a general reading, so don't try to fit things that don't fit, okay? Don't try to force something that doesn't fit. Just take it as it resonates. All right. So getting into this for you, Scorpio, um, you have some flyers. Uh, some, I have a pre-shuffle here, okay? You have the Six of Cups with the Seven of Swords. Now, here's the thing. This, when the Seven of Swords came out, I noticed it, it fell out face down, but I noticed that it fell out reversed. Like, I knew it was reversed. And instinctively, when I picked it up, I picked it up so that it was now upright, okay? That's not a bad thing. Um, there's something about your past or there's something about your childhood that is being revealed. It may even be a past life. It doesn't even have to, it could be a past life. It could be your childhood, but it doesn't be, I have to be that far in the past. It could be fairly recent, okay? Um, underneath the deck though, you have the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo energy in your chart. Um, but there's some sort of illumination that's coming about from a situation that happened in the past. Excuse me. You're either figuring it out or someone is communicating it to you. Uh, for some of you, you're like kind of hearing it through the grapevine. Now, if you are hearing something through the grapevine, I would take that with a grain of salt. Um, because you know you know how you used to play telephone as a kid and the and the the objective or the goal was for the message that originated um in one place gets back to the source unchanged of course that rarely ever happens so if you are hearing some information through the grapevine i would take it with a grain of salt but also recognize that this is the catalyst or the beginning of starting to figure out what actually went down here Okay, so do some investigating, you know, take it seriously, but also don't take it as verbatim. But there is some sort of secrecy that's being revealed. Maybe you, Scorpio, or maybe someone around you are ch is changing their ways. Um, ooh, okay, the Five of Pentacles just came out. Um, there, okay, so this could have something to do with feeling a lack of self-worth. This could be family uh, uh, associated. There could be some sort of deception, uh, negative energy that is finally being illuminated or and maybe even understood that has helped some, wow, that's a lot. I'm not gonna take all of that, but there's the Empress here. This could have to do with your mother, uh, a mother figure, but also this is you potentially coming into an energy, a nurturing energy that's allowing you to fight off some feelings of inadequacy or whatnot um, in association with whatever happened in the past. There was some sort of deception uh, that's being illuminated now. Jeez, Scorpio, damn, can you let me get into the reading here? <laughs> 
<laughs> you have the now the, the the page of wands with the four of swords and the king of pentacles um that could be your father with the king of pentacles but this also could just you be you um grounding yourself manifesting yourself best uh learning about yourself with the page of wands like taking some time with the four of swords and the page of wands to manifest or i'm sorry to um meditate on yourself get to know yourself a little better especially in light of some of the things that might be being revealed for you um this deception that may have happened in your past it's almost as if you may be completely re-identifying yourself from the point of view of understanding whatever deception was involved grounding that and manifesting that or you know really grounding that into your existence with the king of pentacles energy all right scorpio excellent so let's get into the reading here we go Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of June 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, we're giving you three shuffles here. Now, um, interestingly enough, I was seeing, because I do like to picture the zodiac symbols in my mind while I'm channeling for the, the zodiac signs, right? And as I was picturing or envisioning the zodiac symbol, I was seeing it illuminated in green. So green is the color of the heart chakra. Green is the color of healing. There is definitely some heart healing that's going on here for you. All right, Scorpio? Shuffle number two. And number three for you, Scorpio, for your month of June, 2019, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, the two of swords just caught my attention. Boop. So there may have been some indecisiveness or there may be some indecisiveness still, but we'll see. Let's go, let's get moving with this. Oh shit. Here you are, Scorpio, the King of Cups. And it's so funny. First of all, I just did the Libra reading and the King of Cups came out in the pre-shuffle and then it also came out in the overall energy. You might have Libra in your chart. You might wanna check out the Libra reading. You might be dealing with a Libra. Um, but then after the reading, after that Libra reading, I was working on taking some time to clear out that energy and shift over into the Scorpio energy and I kept seeing the King of Cups. Now, I was rationalizing that in two ways. One, I had just done the Libra reading and that was a central part of the Libra reading. Okay, great. Two, the King of Cups represents Scorpio energy in the fact that it is the fixed element of the water sign in the masculine. Masculine energies are fixed, feminine energies are cardinal. Um, but here you are showing up in the, in the very beginning of your reading. And it's so crazy that I was seeing the King of Cups and now here it is. So this is you, officially Scorpio. This could be another Scorpio in your life. It also could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, but there's absolutely some sort of emotional responsibility that's being taken here. So again, you really might want to watch the Libra video. This, they really might be connected for you. Um, something is being revealed, or maybe you're shedding light on something, either that's allowing you to take responsibility, emotional responsibility, or you are taking their emotional responsibility and shining the light on something. Wow. Four of Cups is underneath that with the whoo, Knight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Excellent, Scorpio. So what's going on here? Well, in terms of some sort of unrequited love or some sort of missed opportunity, you're fighting back. Actually... It looks like, it really looks like this because this is literally how it fell out. And so this is, or how it came out. And so this is the way it looks. You see how that Knight of Swords is charging towards that Four of Cups? It's almost as if you are riding in to save your inner child. That's kind of what I'm getting here. To save the you from the past that has been damaged or bruised or hurt by some sort of situation. And you're standing on your own two feet 
in a greater sense of independence here with the nine of pentacles. It's almost as if you're taking your independence back in this situation here, Scorpio. That is fantastic. You may have felt like you were a victim to whatever happened in the past whether that be from your childhood. Um, and at that, at that would make perfect sense because especially if it's something that happened um, really early in your childhood, but at, at any moment in your childhood, there could be, you know, you're, you're not as completely as responsible as say an adult might be. Um, but even but even still, if especially if it was early, early, early in your childhood, it kind of feels like it was a situation in which you were the victim of those circumstances or that energetic cycle for years. I'm hearing for centuries. So maybe this is something for some of you, this is, a, this is in fact a deep past life wound that has played out over multiple lifetimes. But now you're charging in and really taking your power back and saying, fuck that shit. I'm not allowing this to fuck me up any longer. But you see, there, that takes a certain amount, a, amount of emotional responsibility. It's like, in order for you to really accept this, heal it, and move on, you have to learn the lesson that you were meant to learn in the situation to begin with, which means you have to look at it objectively, 11-11, and say, okay, what do I need to learn from this? Like, what can, what, how can I stop playing the victim and finally learn this lesson so I can move on, move on for it and experience something new. I like that a lot, Scorpio. Okay, getting into the rest of your reading here, you can look at this as either the first half and the second half of your month. I recommend that you look at it as the first half and second half of your reading. Time is an illusion, energies are fluid. There at some point, some message can come through in a completely other part of the reading, another message can come through and they can be completely connected with each other and intertwining. So I would just say, allow the energy to flow and take it as it resonates. Yale? Okay. <laughs> first set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. We've got the nine of cups, Scorpio. First out the gate, like in your storyline, satisfaction guaranteed. This is you, yeah, okay, sure. You can say you're looking, feeling a little smug, a little like, meh, heh, heh, yeah, I did it. Yeah, that's right, you did it, Scorpio. You charged in, you said, fuck this, no more. I choose to be happy. And so I'm going to be. Why? Because I said so. You better do it. <laughs> Nine of Cups is coupled with Oh man, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. It's almost as if you're looking at the establishment, at the status quo, at uh, the societal standard and whatnot, and just kind of like laughing in their faces. It's like you finally get it. Okay, you've learned. You sure have learned. And it kind of looks and feels like what you have learned is kind of going against the convention but that's exactly what it's designed to be. And that's why you feel so happy, you feel so accomplished, or you at least you can, because you're taking the lessons that the system has thrown in front of you and completely changing the game. Well, shit. <laughs> and who better to do something like this, to really make such a transformation like this than a Scorpio? I mean, you are the sign of death and transformation. So it's literally like you're saying, I see, I see what you're throwing at me, but I raise you something completely different that you didn't even expect. You couldn't even imagine. So it's almost as if you are kind of sitting there smug, like, oh yeah, you just wait until you wait and see what I have until you see what I have in, in store for you. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here. You've got A now, the Queen of Wands. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign. You could have fire in your chart. This is specifically Aries energy as the feminine being a cardinal energy. So that would be Aries. Um, but what this feels like is you just sitting on your throne, pretty, strong, vibrant, gorgeous, beautiful, having really been through some shit, Scorpio. Like really been through some shit and not allowing it to change you. Now, if it does change you, it's changing you for the better. It's not, you're not allowing it to make you bitter or, or anything, at least not anymore. 
if that was where you were. Wow. But it's still, you're still kind of like sitting on your throne here, just allowing whatever it is to come to you. You've taken enough action, which is in the emotional responsibility to change the situation. And now you're almost, it's like, I feel like you're waiting for the results to come back to you. Especially in the face, because that's kind of what I'm feeling or seeing in this Hierophant with the Nine of Cups. It's like you're looking at whatever establishment you've been facing and just saying, oh yeah, you just wait. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> okay. Queen of Wands is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. Yep. So you might be hiding it a little bit. I don't really think you're trying to let anybody know anything. You're just kind of, you're, you're, you're keeping the balance. You might be keeping up appearance. Um, you are actually probably straddling. You're like standing in between worlds right now, but you're just, it's almost as if you're just waiting for the right time to strike. I am kind of getting a little bit of a King of Wands energy, but it is also, this is the queen. So it's like uh, allowing things to come to you, the magnetism instead of the electricity, okay? Just keeping the balance for now. Just waiting. Smoldering. Knowing the truth. Knowing your own power. And just allowing things to play out as they will. And of course, acting accordingly, okay? Your challenge in the first half of the reading here for you, Scorpio, you've got the lovers. Gemini energy, potentially. Um, 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 um. Also, there's Gemini energy in the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, Knight of Swords here. Also, maybe a potentially another air sign, Libra or Aquarius. But the challenge here is having to make a choice, having made a choice, potentially. Okay, you did have to make a choice or you are having to make a choice depending on how this resonates for you. Divine union is at hand, but this is absolutely about the union within if that's what we're talking about here. The lovers is coupled with mm, the seven of swords. There's that seven of swords again. Right. Okay, so this is a family situation here. The lovers is giving me an energy of someone that's very dear to you, someone that is, um, I'm hearing a soulmate or a karmic partner. That could be a romantic partner. That could be a family member, specifically a parent, parent or guardian. But you had to choose in the face of the deception here. What I'm picking up is that this lesson was for you to get to a place where you can honor your heart or you can honor your own soul, your own path. Um, and you had to deal, you had to face the, the deception or you have to face the deception to come to terms with the fact that really the best thing for you to follow is your own guidance, your own inner voice, your own truth, your own authenticity. So yes, that is a choice that comes to um, creating a divine union within. Either you're going to allow other people to, 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 to choose for you or you're going to choose yourself. Choice of vice over virtue. I say this all the time with the lovers. Vice being the choices, wishes, and wants and desires of others. Virtue being your own heart. But you had to deal with the deception involved with this so that you could get to a place where it's like, fuck it, I choose me now. Fuck it, I choose me now. Beautiful, Scorpio. Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you've got the Knight of Cups. Beautiful. This is living from an open-hearted space. Honoring your true self. Choosing yourself. Letting your heart be open to receive. That's what I just heard. Knight of Cups is coupled with 
Oh, damn, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is definitely you moving forward from a heart-centered place, slowly but surely. Slow and steady wins the race. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's almost as if you're kind of rebuilding your life in a sense. So take it step by step. The two, but see, this is the heart. To me, this is the heart and the mind working in tandem. Well, not necessarily the mind. I guess the ego, you could say. The heart and the ego working in tandem. You see how they're going in the same direction, right? Yeah. It's beautiful, Scorpio. Okay, so getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got... Ah, oh, there's the sun again. More Leo energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. Um... But the future looks bright. This is the illumination. This is the victory. This is the aha moment. This is the success, the exuberance, finding the zest for life again. Illumination. The sun is coupled with, yes, I told you, the aha moment, ace of swords. And it really is a situation in which once you come to this realization, Scorpio, things are going to be so much different for you. It's like the life is going to be so much brighter for you. It's literally gaining the truth, experiencing the aha moment, the epiphany that changes the whole game, brightens up the whole sky. No more clouds for you, at least not in terms of this situation, because now you see the truth. And you understand why it's happening, or at least you have the, uh, the opportunity to understand why things are happening. So the sun could be the illumination, the initial illumination that happens, and then the ace of swords is the aha moment that allows you to really gain the understanding surrounding the situation. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading here, the world. Excellent. Closing out of the cycle, closing out of the situation, closing out of the karmic cycle, done, boop, moving on. Next, because after, after the world comes the fool. And so, yes, you're starting over potentially once you get to the energies of the fool, but that doesn't mean that you're not taking what you learned with you here from this previous cycle. So this is you having the illumination and the epiphany or the, 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 um, yeah, the epiphany in order to close out and complete a cycle here. Yes? The world is coupled with, oof, the five of swords. Wow, this was, yeah, this was a really damaging situation. Not just for you, but for other people involved as well. And that really, you simply could be talking about the karmic black backlash involved for all parties. Well, that's coming to an end. Very much so. All right, Scorpio. Damn. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you have the seven of wands. Boundaries. I just heard keeping up appearance. For some of you, you're not trying to let anybody know, or at least the parties involved know that you know what's going on here. And actually, what I'm hearing is you don't need to. It's not necessary. They don't need to know anything. Let them close the karmic cycle out on their own. You have no responsibility in that because you are taking responsibility for your part in this situation. King of Cups, it's like, look, all right, I own my mistakes. I can't, I, I, I can't do that for you. And I definitely can't make you do it for yourself. So you don't need to know, or I'm not gonna open up about it, or I'm gonna put some distance between the two of us or the three of us, or the multitude of us, however many people there are. Hard boundaries. But the challenge here is not only just putting the boundaries in place, it's keeping them. Because you might be in a situation in which you, might, you may be susceptible to, like over time, those boundaries getting eroded and then you might find yourself back in that situation again. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Or at least the chances are not too likely because you learned about how combative and destructive this situation has been, okay? And I'm hearing, I don't want, I don't want to create, I don't want to start that cycle over again. I never have to want to have to deal with this shit ever again, or this type of thing ever again. Okay. Seven of wands is coupled with, yep. The 10 of pentacles. This could deal with family. And that's actually the big thing that I'm picking up here. Family. Um, but this could just be a family that has all the material, but like none of the emotional. 
it's like a family that's based on material wealth, material, material existence, a status, appearance, but has no real emotional content to it. Might be emotionally abusive, but just because that's mainly because of the lack of emotional investment involved. But also the Ten of Pentacles is the completion of the cycle, the learning of the lesson. So the boundaries need to be put in place and held in place because the lesson has been learned. The cycle is closing out and completing. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Scorpio. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Now you can work on putting in place the reciprocity or the balance between give and take. And that absolutely comes from you placing boundaries in, in terms of this situation. And especially if these are family members that you're dealing with here, yes, you could actually be quite susceptible to letting them back in on, those old, on that old tip. But we're not trying to do that here because now we've learned a lesson in reciprocity in the balance of give and take. And it doesn't matter who anybody is to you, even if they are a family member, if they are toxic, if they are abusive, if they are an energetic vampire, that is not balanced. That is not healthy. And so boundaries need to be put in place. It doesn't mean you hate them. That doesn't mean you do not love them. That does not, does not mean that you do not care for them or that you do not respect them. But that does mean that you do love, care for, and respect yourself. And if they can't do that, then they have no part in your life. Period. I don't care who they are. I don't care who they are. If they cannot love you and respect you the way that they demand you to do so, fuck them. Because that is not reciprocal. Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Empress. Abundance, care, love, grace. This is caring and loving and nurturing yourself for who you are and not letting anybody tell you otherwise. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be cherished. You deserve to be cared for. You deserve to be honored. Maybe even coddled a little bit here or there. Why not? Sure. Everybody deserves this. So this is about you giving this to yourself now or, or allowing yourself to receive it, allowing yourself to have it, understanding that you are in fact worthy of it, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of whatever someone may have told you, regardless of what you may think or feel about yourself. Although I feel like this is changing because you're now allowing yourself to accept, receive this loving reciprocal energy, okay? Excellent, Scorpio. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's get into your Oracle card now for this message for your month of June 2015. 2015? No, 2019. Good Lord, people. <laughs> but actually, this could be a situation that stems back to 2015 that maybe started in 2015, um, kind of got kicked off in 2015, or or it started to unravel in 2015. Like something may have happened that kind of like piqued your interest a little bit or got the ball rolling for you to end up here in 2019, yeah? Good on you. One last shuffle, Scorpio, and then we'll see what we have for you. Okay, here we go, guys. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for my Scorpios. For my Scorpios. Oh. Okay, it's just one card, although a bunch came out. Yeah, we're not going to take these. We're just going to take this one, which seems to be quite perfect. Wow, card number 10, releasing allegiances. Yeah, I thought at first that said alliances, but it's allegiances, which alliances could be similar. It's not the same, though. Maybe it is the same. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, releasing, releasing allegiances, but also keep in mind, look, that this is card number 10, completion of cycles, y'all. Mm, itchy nose. Okay. All right, here we go. 
Now keep in mind, stick, bear with me guys, sometimes these can be pretty lengthy, but whatever, I'm just gonna read the whole thing because the message is relevant. Here we go. Releasing allegiances. It is time to hold on to yourself and let go of another, even if just for a time. You have gained all that was meant to be from that connection, at least for now. You have given and you have received. The need to let go does not deny the value of what has been acquired. It is more than, it is more than the time has, I'm sorry. The need to let go does not deny the value of what has been acquired. It is more that the time has come for greater productivity, creativity, abundance, and consciousness in your life. You have completed many cycles in the vibrational frequency of consciousness that you are now being asked to release. You have been in that vibrational frequency for some time now. Remember, I heard centuries for some of you. So this does have distant past life connections, okay? For some, if not all, if not a vast majority, or although I did hear if not all, whatever. Moving forward. Um, you have earned the right to step out of that frequency, out of the habits, relationships, and the possibilities that are limited to that outmoded frequency. It is now time to expand into higher frequencies of experience that will bring enhanced love, empowerment, and peace into your life. You will take the wisdom of what you have learned with you into something new, new connections, new relationships, new life experiences at a higher turn of the spiritual, I'm, I'm sorry, the spi at, the, at a higher turn of the spiral of life. There we go. But first, you. But first, let me take a selfie. Sorry, I had to, I had to, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Trust, <laughs> okay. Trust that you can step into solitude for a time without being consumed by loneliness. It is time to reconnect with yourself. Perhaps you have had a period of outward orientation where your energy has been diverted away from the inner journey of self-discovery and creative self-expression and into the world of lists, schedules, and demands. Trust that you may need to step back momentarily, even from your healthy relationships and commitments, to refresh your spirit by reconnecting with your own nature in solitude. Perhaps you have been diving so deep into the creative waters that you have lost your bearings or your energetic connection to the earth, your own life, and your needs in the here and now. Either way, you need to come back into, I'm sorry, you need to come back to the ground of your own body. This is a time for self-love, for paying attention to yourself, for nurturing, holding, and being with you. It doesn't mean you can't love another. It just means you need to turn your attention inwards for a time, for some quality time with you. You will emerge renewed, refreshed, and clearer about your journey and your relationships as a result of this. This oracle is also confirmation that the work you have been doing on yourself is working for you. Your level of self-love is growing and your ability to love consciously and healthily is increasing as a result. Some connections in your life will mature along with you and your regard and affection will deepen and blossom. It will be revealed that other relationships are no longer relevant to your life journey. You will know which is which because you will feel it. You will feel it most clearly when you have some time to be with yourself in reconnection. If you have been contemplating a change in lifestyle, enrolling in a class or joining a group, starting a project or setting aside time to focus on your inner work, then this oracle comes as confirmation that these things would be supportive, healthy and helpful for you. This oracle also comes with particular guidance. There is a situation that has recently arisen or will arise soon where you need to back yourself. Don't be put upon or hoodwinked into backing down by the emotional reactions of others. Stand your ground and stay aligned with what you know to be true. No matter how wonderful something seems logically or on the surface, if it doesn't feel right for you, it's not for you at this time. Perhaps that will change and it will be right for you later. Perhaps you will step away and realize with relief that you had a lucky escape from a situation that would have ended up unnecessarily costing you. Either way, backing yourself and not giving in to the opinion of another, no matter how highly you, had a, you would have rated that opinion in the past, is important. 
It is highly likely that you are breaking with, with tradition, with a role model or belief system that you have outgrown. Holy shit. The Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. Remember what I said about that? It's like you're taking what the establishment has thrown at you, at you and kind of laughing in their faces about it. Whoa, Scorpio, whoa. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna read that again. It is highly likely that you are breaking with tradition, with a role model or belief system that you have outgrown. You must be there for yourself because you are doing well. You are on the right path and you are growing. Well done. Well, damn, Scorpio. <laughs> there you have it. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great month. Again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that, I look forward to connecting with you again for the next, for our next month of July. <laughs> for the month of July, yeah. Take care, Mwah! bye.